Now, protests in London were mainly peaceful, but at several sites, protesters tried to use the barricades as weapons against the police. Harry Fear has been following the rallies on the scene. Well, there have been, as you say, at least several hundred anonymous protesters tonight. Most of them, of course, wearing the uh, very symbolic um, trademark, which is their disguise of the Guy Fawkes mask. And their main message, as you mentioned, is an anti-austerity anti message uh, and a message uh, to the UK government to stop eroding internet liberties as they see it. Joining me now is one of the protesters, Esme. Why are you demonstrating here today? I'm fed up, like I think a lot of people are, and I think this is historical, like you said. Look how many people are out here. This is what taking power looks like. And we're fed up of corporations, a ridiculous two-party system where it's one thing or the other, but they're fundamentally the same. I'm fed up of paying for all the bankers' mistakes and corporational tax and the poor people once again Iron picking up the bill. Terrorist. People are not taking this anymore. Esme, why do you think a minority of protesters have taken it upon themselves to use violent means to express themselves tonight? I think every sort of campaign is always going to draw them to that sort of crowd. And I think there's a lot of frustration and anger. People are annoyed and this is one way of venting it. I think there are people that can express themselves through non-violent means and people that let off steam in other ways. It's a shame, but... What can you do? At least people are out there. Thank you very much for your insight. Certainly it is the case that a majority of protesters are partaking in peaceful expression. But a minority have been clashing with the police. And the protests have become, in the, uh, in the tradition of the anonymous hacktivist collective, amorphous. Pro uh, police have been eff effectively chasing around the protesters who have been uh, spreading not just from Parliament Square, but also from Trafalgar Square, from Buckingham Palace, outside the BBC. The BBC BBC has come, up, come under criticism for not sufficiently covering this protest enough. Now the protesters have moved on uh, beyond here, but in the last while, a small number have remained here clashing uh, with police. Certainly there have been several standoffs with police tonight. As some protesters have launched fireworks, they've uh, gone on top of historic sites, uh, all actions which are specifically prohibited by the police. So that tension continues tonight. And as I say, there is a peaceful majority trying to get their passionate message out to the world.